How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you a crazy video from high school academia. Now, this happened in the school district outside of Atlanta, and it features a teacher who got really triggered, really upset over a Donald Trump T-shirt because of the slogan that was on it, Make America Great Again. She compared that slogan to a Nazi swastika. It's really crazy. She got triggered. She kicked the kid out of the class who was wearing it. But before we get into my teardown of it, what I want to do right now is go ahead and roll it. So you won't think that I'm lying or making it up. This is a real video. It really happened. And I'll place an article that backs it up in the description box below. But after we get done watching it, I'll give you my two cents about the video in particular. And then I'll talk about this kind of thing happening in other places. Maybe not to this extreme, but maybe a little bit worse than this. Maybe in a higher age range talking about college and also in a much younger age range you're talking about kindergarten elementary school so without further ado go ahead and roll it Wait, so both of them, both of them have to like flip their shirts inside out because it says Trump on the top. They gotta flip their shirts inside out because it's got Trump on it and it's supported by. Ne <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so you saw that now. <laughs> I don't know what to say, really. I don't know how to really, um, how to feel about that. That video was crazy. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is that this lady's been watching too much TV, too much MSNBC. She's looking at Van Jones and Don Lemon and everybody else crying tears after Hillary Clinton lost. She's looking at too many news reports talking about the Russia kerfuffle, uh, white supremacists, neo-Nazis, you know, all kind of stuff like that. And I think Trump is in tune with this kind of coverage that he's getting. That's why he's so hard on the mainstream media, because he understands that they paint this narrative that people actually go out there and believe. It ain't just about him feeling like upset that they're talking about him in a negative way. People really go out here and they believe all the Russia stories. They believe about all these white supremacists, neo-Nazis, like it's like a red scare being placed on the public. And a lot of it is not even really for any other reason other than the fact that they're trying to get money. You may have some foot soldiers out there that are pretty much doing the bidding of their network, thinking they're doing a good thing for America. They think that they're doing the Lord's work. Essentially, they're like prophets sent out by a, a pastor or a minister to go perform religious work. But really, all they're doing is just making the network more money. I think it was even exposed on a Project Veritas undercover video. Shout out to James O'Keefe that the CNN executive, the CEO of CNN, Jeff Zucker, his whole point is to make money. So the whole Russia story that's hot right now. So they're going to keep hammering down. If it's about white supremacists, neo-Nazis, if that's getting a lot of clicks, if it's getting a lot of views, then let's keep doing stories about it. The problems that come about as a result of all this negative coverage, you're not really worried about. That's not really their problem. If somebody gets some kind of anxiety or whatever built up as it relates to Russia, white supremacists or whatever, due to CNN, MSNBC, ABC, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth, all of their negative coverage, that's not really their problem. All they're worried about is getting money. And when I say they, I mean those that really run the show. I'm not talking about the average everyday worker, the the drone or the person in the suit, your Don Lemons of the world, your Katie Kirk's of the world, whoever it is basically being a talking head. It's not so much about them. It's about those that are above them and really make the money. So it's crazy, but you're seeing a lot of this happen because these people, these teachers, they watch the news too. They're human beings like everybody else. And a lot of them are easily led astray. They're malleable. Their brains are like putty. They're like the brain of a child. You can pretty much put anything into it and it will adapt to that, especially if they think that already inside the mainstream media behaves as a form of confirmation bias. When you already think that Trump is a racist, when you already think anybody on the right is a racist, they are there to make that notion become much more true in your mind, even though it's not really, but I digress. Now this incident that happened with the teacher and the student and the make America great again, kerfuffle, this ain't the first time it's happened. It's happened a lot. Um, even worse has happened in much younger age groups. I saw a story where I think it was a girl in kindergarten or first grade who came home crying to her mom. I'm talking like 
face just full of full of tears. And then it was revealed the reason why she was crying is because she thought that she would turn into a boy. And the reason why she thought that is because she witnessed a transgender reveal happen in her classroom. The teacher read a book about a little boy or girl or whatever they want to be called becoming a different gender. And it was a person in the class, a little boy or girl, a student who had a transgender reveal. Like they came with, they came to class as one gender and they went and changed their clothes and came back as a new gender. This is kindergarten. Parents are not happy with the Rockland Charter School Academy for having transgender discussions in a kindergarten class. And these parents feel betrayed by the school district that they were not notified. And what I will share over and over again is how proud I was of my students. An emotional Rockland Academy teacher addressing a packed house of parents, many furious about her decision to discuss the topic of gender identity inside her kindergarten class. It was never my intent to harm any students, only to support them through a difficult situation. The teacher defended her actions to read two books she says were given to her by a transgender child going through a transition. The kindergartners came home very confused about whether or not you can pick your gender, whether or not they really were a boy or a girl. Parents besides the books, the transgender student at some point during class also changed clothes and was revealed as her true gender. My daughter went home crying, shaking, so afraid that she could turn into a boy. So when you see stuff like this, you got to ask yourself, what's really going on? What's going on with our teachers? And again, a lot of that can be attributed to the mainstream media. Look what we're talking about LGBT stuff all the time. And then you see little kids get paraded on TV talking about, well, I'm transgender. You know, they're giving little kids hormone blockers and stuff like that. All these things are being normalized, as my man Yuri Bezmenov would say. Shout out to him. But that's what's happening. You normalize a certain thing and then comes a demoralization. At that point, you could pretty much tell a person or people to do anything you desire them to do. Right. Turn their own children into different genders. I mean, what kind of sense does that make? If you have a child, I'm talking like a five to six year old little boy or girl. At what point is it appropriate for you to think that exposing them to any kind of transgender stuff is OK, let alone actually making them transform their gender into a different one? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what a little boy or girl says that they want to do. It's up to the parent to say yay or nay. The kids do not run their household. The parents do or at least they should. So it doesn't matter if your little boy come home and say, you know what? I want to be a girl today. You'd be like, OK, that's nice, son, but I can't do nothing for you. <laughs> the answer is no. And have that be that. Some would even say it's child abuse if you do not allow the child to become whatever gender they desire. Do you see where we're going? A lot of this is being spurred on by the media and then it gets sent to the teachers and the teachers put it into your children's mind, sometimes without your actual notice. Right. That's what happened in the case I just showed you a little while ago where you had all the parents who were in the furor over the situation. They did not get notified about a transgender reveal in the classroom. And don't you think that'd be some information you'd like to know as a parent? Wouldn't you want to know that if there's going to be some kind of transgender information or a reveal or a transgender book read to your children at five to six years old? Wouldn't you want to know that? OK. And wouldn't you want your child to go to a place that's safe for them to be able to express themselves politically? I mean, Make America great again. Is that so bad? The people that go on TV say it's bad. All the liberals, people like that. You even had a guy like Bill Clinton come out and try to speak against it, even though he used that exact same term during his campaigns. That message where I'll give you America great again is if you're a white southerner, you know exactly what it means, don't you? <laughs> what it means is I give you the economy you had 50 years ago, and I'll move you back up on the social totem pole and other people down. Really? Wow. Is that what he meant when he said this, Bill Clinton, for his wife and for himself? Listen. I believe that together we can make America great again. To secure a better future for your children and your grandchildren, and to make America great again. I want to attack these problems and make America great again. It's time for another comeback. Time to make America great again. You see, they say anything, they do anything. They pretty much just, it doesn't even really matter. All they worried about is what's hot in the news, what's popular, 
How am I going to get the most attention? How am I going to be able to virtually sit on the hardest? How am I going to be able to help myself or my significant other or my friend, confidant, uh, coworker, whoever, when they don't care about any kind of honesty? OK, but at the end of the day, as I close, what it does is it negatively affects the average everyday normie, so to speak. This teacher who got so triggered, I mean, triggered beyond belief, triggered to her heart couldn't take no more over a slogan on the T-shirt of a president who's in office right now. Make America great again. How is that in any kind of way racist? Right. Americans are all different walks of life, all different colors. It doesn't matter what you are. I may disagree with you. You could be somebody that's like a transgender unicyclist. OK, that's your business. I may not like want to do that myself, but you're still an American as long as you're a citizen. Make America great again is for all of us. So at the end of the day, this math teacher in Atlanta, you need to get over yourself, lady. You know, the slogan is not going to get up and beat you in the head. You need to be worried about getting those kids ready for college and into their future. Don't worry about your political stuff. If you feel that kind of crazy way, keep it to yourself or invest in the therapist and tell him, don't project those kind of feelings onto your classroom. Don't kick kids out of class for that. And as I close real this time, when I was in school, we talked about politics a little bit just amongst each other as students, but never the teachers, you know, even in civics class, it was never this whole thing about their personal affiliation. Their personal affiliation does not matter. All you need to do as a teacher is teach me the rules, teach me the actual, the black and white. Don't get into your own personal feelings. I don't care nothing about that. People, I think, are not able to have people they can talk to in an appropriate way. And then they express themselves in inappropriate ways. A lot of it is to get attention. So what do you think? Do you think that this teacher was out of line in Atlanta or in the Atlanta area for what she did in the classroom? How about a teacher that put out a transgender book? How about her? Was she out of line? Now, if you like me, I say they were both out of line. And my solution to both of them would be the first one, the teacher, keep your political ideas to yourself and turn off CNN, turn off MSNBC, turn off all that poisonous stuff. It's just like if you're depressed, don't watch Law and Order and stuff like that. Just get away from it, man. Just get something that's more positive and more uplifting. Get away from the fake media. OK. And to the teacher that put out the transgender book. You actually need to get fired for that. I'm actually might lock you up for that. If I was a judge and I saw that, I might lock you up. OK, now, I don't know what the actual policy is in that actual school district where this happened. I'm pretty sure it was in California. We're talking about the training book. I don't know what the actual policy is or what the laws are in that area. But if it was me, I'll be looking at some kind of child abuse because a the parents were not notified and b this is totally inappropriate information for a child to receive. But do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that it was OK for the teacher to get triggered out of her pants and go completely haywire and kick a kid out of her classroom for wearing a president's t-shirt that's sitting in the office right now it's not a parody shirt it doesn't have any kind of profanity no lewd language or anything like that it's making america great again is that worth kicking somebody out of class or a teacher that put out a transgender book do you think that she was in the right for that because kids need to learn that kind of sexuality at an early age, even though a lot of them are still, you know, playing with Barbie dolls and stuff like that. Is that the appropriate age to do that? Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.